Hey Ford Osage, welcome back to Tribal Review. On today's episode, we will talk about the results from the Job Olympics. Also on the show, we'll have some profiles of some senior baseball players. And I'll have some more spring sports results. All this and more coming up on Tribal Review. Advanced Auto Parts offers top quality automotive parts and is where you will find quality CarQuest parts. Take advantage of their free wiper blade installation and visit the four independence locations. Open 7.30 a.m. to 9 p.m. Monday through Saturday. Hey, Fort Osage High School. Happy Cinco de Mayo. I'm Dylan Doherty. And I'm Jackson Adams. Today is Friday, May 5th, 2023, and here are your top school news stories. This year's Job Olympics happened on April 28th. Students Caleb Lunchford, Allison Herrera, Chloe Harvey, Dakota Rose, and Caden McKinley all received medals. Hannah Gregory came in third place for assembling hygiene kits. Zach Hoffman's in first place for folding laundry and assembling pizza, huh? pizza boxes. Elijah Benz took, fir took first for theater host and concession stand. Josh Ellenberger Van, Van Hole won first place in busing tables and second in restaurant hosting. Jenna Lindell took second place in silverware rolling. Olivia Jens won third place in mail sorting. Joe Bush won first place in assembling pizza boxes and second place in dishwashing. Elijah Hernandez Workman won first place in email skills and second place in computer data entry. Dante Gardner won first place in custodial skills and computer data entry. entry. Jerry Littritz won third in restaurant stock and the school itself took second overall. The baseball team continues to prepare for a chance to win conference in the district tournament. Senior Nathan Oaks batting has helped with the team's success and tribal reviews Kaylin Parker who found out why. Not today. He hits one out there for a single. Nathan Oaks has been playing baseball since he was four years old. Nathan is a switch hitter, pitcher, and first baseman. Nathan feels at home when he's playing baseball. I'd rather just being on the field, feeling the adrenaline. I'm not, I don't like attention personally, but when I'm on the field, I feel like I'm flying off of it, especially when I'm pitching. It's just something that I love, I love just being on the field. As a first baseman, Nathan only has one error on the season. Caden Burnett learns lessons from Nathan. Uh, he's really pushed me to become a better pitcher and be more aggressive and, and like think about what I'm doing before I do it. As a pitcher, Nathan has a couple strikeouts on the season despite his injury. Aiden Bunting's favorite memory of Nathan is talking about pitching. Probably the first game we had when me and him were talking about um, probably pitching and like motions and how it versus to Japanese pitchers. Nathan Oaks is committed to the Missouri Valley Vikings. I'm Kaylin Parker reporting for Tribal Review. Thanks, Kaylin. I've never been him, but he seems like a really cool guy. And I've seen his stats, and he's just been having an amazing season so far. After the break, hear about another senior baseball player. So stay online with us. We'll be right back. Come visit Toscano's at 312 South Hudson Street in Buckner, Missouri, where you can try a large variety of homemade wood-fired pizzas made of gluten-free, cauliflower, or regular crust. They also provide cheese options like their Asiago, dairy-free, mozzarella, provolone, ricotta, or feta. You can create your own with the choice of multiple personal toppings. You can also take advantage of their take and bake option as well. Call or stop by between 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. Monday through Saturday to order some today. Welcome back. Senior cat catcher Jacob Hasty's talent behind the plate drives the team momentum. Chabot Reviews reporter Malachi Haight and I caught up with him to talk about his high school baseball career. There's a nice drive. Jacob Hasty is a catcher for the Fort Osage baseball team. He bats 371. He relishes the good times he's had with the team. My favorite memory was freshman year, whenever it was the first day of tryouts, I broke my nose and then came back the day later still with a broken nose. Jacob has nine RBIs on 23 hits this season. He is also part of the school's broadcasting team. Jeffrey feels Jacob is a great teammate. Jacob brings a lot of energy in the dugout and keeps the game fun for us. Jacob has caught nine batters stealing this season. Chase believes Jacob has excelled as a catcher. Um, Jacob Hasty has been a big help behind the plate. Um, his bats came around when we needed it to, and uh, he's been very efficient this year. After graduating, Jacob Hasty is going to go to the Air Force for four years. I'm Jackson Adams, reporting for Job Review. Thanks, Malachi and Jackson. Jacob Hasty has just given, he's a great baseball player, and he's also a great member of the broadcasting community at our school. I really like having him in class. He's a real excitement. 
McKinnon Gilpin now joins us for the Indian Sports Report. Hey McKenna, I hear track and field continues to have success. Yes, the girls team recently captured a championship. I'll have those results as well as results from spring sports after this break. Visit the Toscanos where you'll be greeted by their friendly staff. Try some of their most popular dishes like the spinach artichoke, chicken pasta, lasagna with marinara, or pasta primavera. All dishes are available to order either online, over the phone, or in person. So stop on by and try one of their specialty dishes today. What's up guys, I'm McKenna Gilpin with the Indian Sports Report. The boys and girls track team competed in the Independence City Champs Invitational on April 28th. The girls team placed first in the Independence City Champs Invitational with 117 points over Truman, William Christman, and Van Horn. Paige Franks placed first in the 400 meter, 800 meter, and 1600 meter runs. Jocelyn Nunez had a first place finish in the 100 meter dash and long jump and took second in the 200 meter dash. Nevea Wilson placed first in the girls triple jump. McKenna Simons placed second in the 800 meter run. Riley Fillmore placed second in the 3200 meter run. Kinley Renicky placed second in triple jump. Lacey Zorn placed second in the 300 meter hurdles. The boys team placed second with a 117 finish, just getting edged out by William Christman. Zachary Christman placed first in the boys high jump with a leap of 5 foot 10. Grayson Moore placed first in the pole vault with the eight with a height of 12 foot 11 finish. Anthony Thompson took first in the boys discus and Isaac Woodward took first in the javelin. River Peppers placed second in the 100 meter dash with 11.35 finish. Alex Nagras took second in the 200 meter dash with a 54.93 finish. The girls soccer team hosted St. Joe Central to take on the Indians once again on April 27th and defeated the Indians 4-0. Macy Smith and McKenna Simons both led the team scoring two goals each to get a team victory. A couple days later on May 1st, they hosted William Christman and defeated the Bears 7-0. Macy Smith led the team with three hard-fought goals and an unusual goal came from midfielder Beckman when she lobbed a shot from 46 yards out with the wind behind her to sneak the ball past the William Christman goalie in the second half. Hilburn recorded her fifth shutout of the season. They then traveled to Ruskin on May 2nd and defeated the Eagles in a Mercy Rule 8 to nothing match. Ali Harm led the team with two contested goals and Sienna Sullivan battled hard to get her first varsity goal. The team now sits at 12-0 on the season. The baseball team traveled to St. Joe to take on Central on April 26th. They battled hard but lost to the Indians 3-2. Greg Minnie led the team with two hits and two RBIs. Minnie also led the team from the mound striking out seven Indians in four and a third innings of work. They then continued play at Kearney on April 28th against the Bulldogs and lost 9-0. Grayson Harris led the team with three hits and five RBIs. Caden Burnett had five strikeouts from the mound in four innings of relief. They then hosted Grain Valley on May 2nd and lost to the Eagles 15-5. The team now sits at 11-14 on the season. On May 1st, the boys golf team competed in the Greater Kansas City Suburban Conference Red Division in St. Joseph. The Indians finished fourth with a 4-18. Blake Mozzie shot a 101 to lead the team, followed by Zach Ferg Ferguson's 102. Brody McBee finished with a 105. All three earned all-conference honors. On April 26th, the boys' tennis team traveled to Excelsior Springs. They lost 5-4. They then traveled to St. Joe Central on May 1st and lost to the Indians 9-0. On May 2nd, they battled with the Truman Patriots but lost 7-2. The team sits at 2-8 in the dual play on season. Well, that's it for the Indian Sports Report. I'm McKenna Gilpin. Dylan and Jackson will have more news after the break. Toscanos where you'll be greeted by their friendly staff. Try some of their most popular dishes like the spinach artichoke, chicken pasta, lasagna with marinara, or pasta primavera. All dishes are available to order either online, over the phone, or in person. So stop on by and try one of their specialty dishes today. Welcome back. It's time for this week's Tom Tom Talk. Schools are almost over and this means summer is just around the corner. It is with that, Child Review reporter Gordon Perry wanted to find out what summer plans you have. Summer break is coming up. I asked people what their summer plans were. You know, just chillax, man. No school. Sun's out, guns out. I'm just going to be chilling on like a beach or something, I hope, with a drink and just, you know, chilling. I am going to be teaching summer school. Last I heard it was personal finance in person. And then July will probably be working at the Royals games and resting up for another school year. I don't know. Probably chill. I'll go around. Probably go to the mall. I don't know. My summer plans are just to be working all summer. Um, going to softball tournaments and my brother's baseball tournaments. 
Uh, my summer plans is just to hang out with friends, um, probably hit the weight room and go to the lake. Um, I'm planning on going to football and basketball camps all summer and near the beginning of the school year I'm going on vacation in St. Thomas. Um, my summer plans are to work and probably go on vacation. Uh, working and hanging out with friends. Road trips, vacations, work, make that money. My summer plans are to hang out home. Reporting for Tribal Review, I'm Gordon Perry. Thanks, Gordon. I'm going to be using the summer to really like work on my like journalism skills. I'm just going to use it to work in general. On April 28th, members of the Florida Stage Choir competed in the Missouri State High School Activities Association Music Festival. Several students were awarded for their performances. Gold solo rating winners included Alejandro Castile, Molly Friel, Layla Friend, Madeline Hanna, Anthony Keller, Dylan Newell, Mackenzie Rice, and Lily Wilson. Olivia Cheatham was awarded a silver rating. Several small ensembles also received awards. Women's Miscellaneous, Mixed Double Quartet, Men's Double Quartet also took gold awards. A number of men, Women's Miscellaneous and Mixed Double Quartet also took silver awards. Four band students also participated at the Misha State Music Festival. Nathan Hopkins and Haley Gregory both took gold, and Justin Cox and Austin Sampson won silver awards for their performances. As always, if you're looking for more news and information about Fort Stage High School, you can always find additional coverage on FOHSSignal.net. There you find stories about the students and activities of the school, so check it out today. Well, that's it for today's show. I'm Dylan Doherty. I'm Jackson Adams. And I'm McKenna Gilpin. Thanks for spending some time with us. Make sure to join us next week for another episode of Travel Review. <laughs>